Hi, Gloria Donahue with Nana's Cookery and welcome or welcome back to the kitchen. It's nice to have you here again. We're going to be making a cake. I'm going to call it a nutmeg toffee cake. Toffee coffee cake, I guess, because it's going to have a kind of a toffee bottom and it's going to definitely have a nutmeg flavor. But before I do that, if you don't subscribe, my producer has sworn he will not give me hugs every time he walks through the door and when he leaves. I need those hugs, folks. So I really need subscribers. We're gonna start in the processor. If you don't have a processor, you could use a pastry blender uh, because we're gonna be basically cutting butter into sugar and flour. I have two cups of flour in the processor. I'm going to add two cups of packed brown sugar and I'm going to whir that up for a minute so that they're nice and combined. And now I'm going to cut the butter in and it was one stick or that would be four ounces of butter. And I'm going, I cut it into smaller pieces because I think it blends quicker that way. So now we're gonna let this go. I basically crumbed the mixture and this is what it is. I don't want it to become a dough like a cookie dough. And if you continue to run the processor, once that butter is cut in, then actually we'll start to make a dough. And I don't want that, I want crumbs. But I don't remember, it's been such a long time that I made it, it said divide it in half. And I don't honestly know what that is, so I'm going to measure it. And half of it goes in the bottom of the pan, and that's gonna be the toffee layer. Well, I'll write it in the cookbook. It's actually, uh, comes out to be five cups. So you put two and a half cups in the bottom of the pan and we're going to press that in. That is going to be our base. And it's a greased nine inch pan. So we're just going to push that in. Now I've got a cup of sour cream to which I added a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to add one beaten egg to that. And you know, there are recipes where it calls for an egg and I'm only making half the recipe. And I put down a half an egg and people say, well, how do you do it? Well, you just do it like this. Take an egg, put it in a cup, beat it up and only use half. Uh, I don't use a whole egg because that could change the consistency. It could change you know, something about it. I try to be as exact as I can in my measurements, but this one calls for an egg. So we're gonna put that egg in there. And don't forget my nutmeg. My nutmeg goes in here and it's a lot of nutmeg. It's a teaspoon and a teaspoon is a lot of nutmeg. I'm going to do it two, two halves because my hole won't fit in there. And when you do something like that, don't, don't do it heaping. Heaping changes it a lot. Do it level. And that would be true of anything. If it wants you to do heaping, that's what it'll tell you. But otherwise... And now we're gonna mix this mixture with the crumbs. We're going to take our mixture, our crumb and the other things and pour it over that toffee base. It's well mixed, always make sure it's well mixed. I just have nuts, chopped nuts written in the recipe, but I think maybe a half cup is about right. So that's, that's what I did. And we'll put those over top and then there's just gonna be a little sprinkling of cinnamon. Always make sure when you put a batter in a pan that you go well into the corners because as it bakes, definitely comes in a little bit and you wanna make sure that you've gone right out, right out to those corners. So now we're going to, I think half a cup is right. We'll see. If that's too much, I won't use them all. Here 
Here we go. We'll put that in the oven at 350. This can be used as a coffee cake. It can be used as a, a dessert cake. Uh, it's really a nice, nice all around cake. Our cake is out of the oven and it tested done and we're going to let it cool and then we'll enjoy it together. Mm -hmm.